Hello there, boys and girls. I am back with another really fun one. It has been a little bit chilly actually around town, so um, we are gonna do some cute animals um, in sweaters. So who doesn't love that? Um, today, we need a um, Sharpie if you have it or if you're allowed to use it. If not, you could totally use a black colored pencil. Um, and then you could really use whatever you want to to um, color in the sweater. You could use uh, markers if you wanted to. You could certainly use colored pencil or crayon. Um, or you could even paint them. Totally up to you guys. So let's get started. All right, guys. So we have our paper portrait or hot dog layout, right? And we are going to do a cute little bear, all right? So we're going to start with the top of his little head. Just like that slightly little curved line right and then we'll do some cute little upside down U ears just like that and then we'll go ahead and give him his big face All right and then let's go ahead and give him a little curved body lines there we go. We want a nice section of sweater there, right? But first, let's give him a little bit of personality, okay? We're going to give him a little, some cute eyes. So let's just do a circle. Okay, maybe that one's a little small. But here's the trick. We're gonna give him a cute little white reflection in his eye, okay? So to do that, I'm gonna do like a little kind of crescent moon shape or a backwards C. And you have to make it kind of big because then when you kind of fill in around it, it's left with that little kind of white area. All right, just like that. Okay, so for the nose, we're actually going to start kind of low and we're going to start with a triangle shape, just a simple triangle, upside down triangle, but we're going to make it just a little bit more fancy, okay? Just a little bit. So we're going to add a little loop to that side and a little loop to that side, okay? And then we're going to color that all in. Just like that. And then let's do the classic little J and the backwards J for his little mouth. How cute is that? Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of a tricky part. I know you guys can do it though, all right? We are gonna make his little muzzle area, but instead of just drawing a big circle, I'm gonna make it in little tiny lines, okay? Or actually more of an oval. So sh watch me first, and then you can kind of go back. So I am making an oval shape with my little lines going all the way around his little mouth, and little nose area. See how I did that? How it's a big oval, but it's all with little lines. So from there, I'm gonna go out one more time around in a circle area. I'm not trying to make these line up perfectly. I'm just going around the same direction of lines. Do you see how they're all going in that circle pattern? Right, all the way around. I'm also gonna do that same circle pattern around the eyes. And it's okay if where it kind of meets. Going all the way around the eyes, just like that. And I'm gonna do that one twice too. Giving all their little hair marks, right? All the little tiny fur hair marks, just like that. Okay. Next, we're gonna do a similar thing on the ears. I'm gonna go around in that kind of pattern going around the ear, right? I'm not just going in straight lines. I'm making my little lines go all the way out around the ear in a curve. And I did that twice. 
So it's almost like a um, like a rainbow of little lines. Rainbow and a little rainbow inside, right? Once I get to that point, then I'm just gonna go across with little straight lines all going the same direction. And I'm gonna just fill in the rest of his little face like this. Okay, still filling in. Now, to keep this video from not being, you know, forever long, I'm going to stop the video and finish filling these in, but I will check in at some point so that you guys can see. But as you can see, we're just kind of filling these all in, all the way across. And I'm gonna go all the way down his face. We don't wanna go onto his body though, because remember he's wearing a cute sweater. But I'm just making all these little hairlines. Boop, 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 right? All the way across, okay? And then we will reconvene when we're done. All right, guys, so we have filled in all of our little hair or fur lines. Now we're gonna do our fun little sweater lines. Um, so this is pretty simple. We're just gonna break it up into sections. And obviously you could have like a color scheme going with your sweater, or you can just kind of do whatever you want, right? But I'm just gonna do some little patterns in here and you can kind of get creative I'm gonna do some little lines like I'm doing right there. Um, maybe some shapes. But you can really fill these however you want. It's your sweater, right? But the idea is that the polar bear will obviously stay white and we can fill this in kind of however we'd like to. Um, let's see, do I want to add one more section? I might just kind of leave this one as a bigger one. There we are. And now we can color them in with whatever you want. Um, you can use crayon, you can use marker, colored pencil, watercolor, anything you want, really. I think I'm going to use watercolor because I have it, obviously. Um, you could even do a mix. This could totally be a um, mixed media type project. Um, and I want to make him in kind of like fun, warm colors. Ooh, I had some green still on my paintbrush. So I'm going to do some kind of oranges and kind of neutral tones. It's just kind of a fun, cute one, right? So just like that, I'm just gonna fill in the different sections. Again, if you are using watercolor, like for this next area, I'm gonna do my triangles in brown, but then I'm gonna need to let them dry before I go and do that other, the rest of that section. Otherwise, these are all gonna go all over the place and bleed together, right guys? So you remember that once we do these, I can't just go ahead and do that background area of that section yet. I'm gonna let them dry before moving on. Or I'll just move on elsewhere, like down here, which is what I think I will do. What color do I wanna do down there? I think I'm gonna do, like I said, some neutral, so I'm gonna go in with a green. and do this bottom section again while that middle section around my triangles are drawing. I can just go ahead and work in this area. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and I will come back and show you when it's all done. All right, you guys, here is my bear all done. Now, obviously, if you wanted to go that extra step and cut him out and maybe mount him on a light blue piece of paper, that would be pretty awesome. Or you could even paint a little bit in the background, or you can just leave him as is. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you around.